The first thing we need to set up is Postfix Admin because that's got emails that we might use later on. So we're going to take our link here. Now, whenever you get a link like this, you want to copy and paste it because that that code there that's that that's blue, you can click on it. That can actually lie to you. So we want that exact text. So we're going to copy and paste it. That's just a secure little trick you can use. All right. Now here's my link. Now the email address I'm using here is my.verb.inc at gmail. And the password I'm not going to tell you. In fact, uh, there we go. All right, now your Postfix admin might look a little bit different, but a couple things first. Password, you might want to change your password because your console or your web developer probably gave you one. I'm not going to change it, but that's probably a good first step. Now, there's an admin list, which we're going to come to later. You can add other administrators. If you're the only one using it, you don't really need to because this is kind of a super admin who can administer other administrators. Some might call that a superintendent, but here we call it a super admin. But you can't really do much with these settings until you add domains. So this is interesting and useful to know, but we're going to go to domains first. Now you might have some domains already added, but in our case we need to add other domains. Now for my clients with the service that I have, in mine in particular, yours will be different, which is fine. I've got these domains and we're using the domain U dot verb dot ink. Now this is coincidence, just so happens to be that one right up there. We've got to add that domain manually. I'm going to call it uh, U and uh, ink. I don't know. I'll remember it better. Now, I've got a few options here. I can set how many aliases I can make, how many mailboxes. Yeah, that, that doesn't really, maybe, maybe, you know, I don't know. Be careful with this because you don't want to give yourself problems later on. A thousand megabytes total like you know for each mailbox like that's maybe not a lot you might want to make that like maybe three if you're doing your own or maybe you're going to pop email out of this and you want it to be really small because you're going to just get the email and keep it empty all the time and you know, set it up how you want be smart but just mind these things because sometimes you can have problems later and, and this does make a difference here now be careful with unlimited. That doesn't really mean unlimited. That just means that Postfix admin won't limit it. But still you're using space on the server. If your mailbox gets enormous and your server space shuts down, well, your server has problems because your mailbox is too big. So just mind this. This is usually a means of controlling the usage by other people from the admin list or other users. This usually isn't something you need to control yourself. You're going to do that on your own. So just be smart with this and be mindful and think about what you need and, you know, just be mindful. So we're going to add the domain. I'm going to say we only need, uh, you know, 20 mailboxes, but it, you do whatever works for you. This is not a backup mail server, but if it is, then I will need to check here. Now, there, uh, there's some default email aliases. That's probably a smart thing because that's necessary for the server to be able to work because this server is counting on certain email addresses to exist. They should probably be there. We want this to be active unless I'm making it inactive for some reason. We add our domain. All right, it's been added. Now, where is it? Well, we got to go look at it. We click on domain list, domain list. It's the same button twice. Nice and convenient. There it is. There's our domain. There it is. Now, I'm going to go to my virtual list. This is a list of our domains such as this. This is a list of the emails here, virtual. Ah, there we are. These are our, you know, we, we say virtual, but that's technical geekery term. These are legitimate bona fide email boxes. There's a virtual list is because Postfix admin generally manages virtual email addresses, but don't get lost in, in the jargon too much. These are, all, for all intents and purposes, these are real email addresses. Well, that's our only domain that we have. So all we've got our automatic aliases that were added, seeing right there, the default aliases. Now these are aliases, they're forward domains. They forward to other addresses. So, you know, abuse, you know, is gonna go to this alias here. Uh, this alias is gonna go to that address. Uh, maybe I could change that, but it, it, that's not really that big of a deal. Okay, so I'm gonna come over here. That's not enough. I wanna add another domain. 
I've got inkisaverb.com. Ink is a verb.com. Ink is a verb. Boom. Okay. This is my other .com I'm using. I don't need to mess with these settings. That's, that's probably where my website is. I'll go back to the virtual list. Well, there we are. Now, abuse, you, verb, ink, goes to abuse, you, verb, ink. Now, here we go. This is my domain. This is where my business is probably set up, let's we'll say. Ah, abuse at ink is a verb goes to abuse at you. Aha. Okay. Well, that's going to be useful for the web developer. Don't really worry about that, but leave those alone. Don't mess with those. All right. One of the things we're going to do right away for our server to make our server work is we want to use our, our base server email, whatever email we're, we're using here. And we're going to add a mailbox. I'm going to uh, call it uh, super user, SU, super user. I'll make our password uh, there. Uh, there we go. Okay. And uh, the, the name will be super user, I guess. Oh, the quota. Well, the maximum is 100 because that's what we said earlier. Remember we made the domain? Now, this is a bona fide email account, so I can set up another email. So let's say the user forgets the password and needs to change the password or something. Like there's a like change your password link. Like this is useful for that. I don't have to set this up. I could, but I, I'm not going to. Oh, the passwords don't match. Well, got to be careful with that. Okay, let's see if that works. Okay, it's all set. There we go. Go to our virtual list. There it is. su.u.verb.inc. Now, this is my basic email. This is the email I'm going to use for all my stuff. Now, it's got only 100 megabytes. That's kind of small, but that maybe maybe I should maybe I'll go change that here. We're we're gonna go change that. That's just it's just not right. It, we're we're gonna edit this. Click on edit for the U verb ink. Edit that. And I, I I'm I ah, yeah, see I want that to be bigger. This is a big this is a big boss account. I'm gonna make it a thousand. One gigabyte. That 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 should be enough. Maybe. Let me go back to our virtual list. There we are. So I'm I'm gonna edit him. Oh, I can edit him now. Now I can I can do more. The max is now 1,000 because I just changed it. Okay, so you get the idea. Now, I'm not changing the password. Don't mess with that. Just what I'm changing. Oh, I could add the email now if I wanted. Okay, so I think you kind of get the idea. I'm managing u.verb ink emails. I could do the same thing with ink as a verb and get that all set up. I don't want to. I'm going to just stick with this and be simple, but this is how everything's laid out. All right, now, I need a universal alias just because I'm smart and stuff. Let me make a universal alias. Do this. So all my emails are going to go, uh, you know what? I'm going to go back and do it this way. I want to copy and paste because I'm smart. I want everything to go to that email right there. So I'm going to control C, copy that. Add my alias. Asterisk means everything. Star. There. Now, there's no spaces. If there's a space, it'll yell at me. Like this. Watch. If I put a space there, watch what happens. It yells at me. Oh, this is wrong. It doesn't affect the, the, the reg exp, exp, whatever that check is. So, it's because there's a space there. So, watch it. Be aware of that. So, no spaces. Just the email. Now, I could add others. I, I, I could add uh, my.verb.inc at gmail.com here. Now, it's going to two. I could do that. Just make sure there's not a space. One per line. To add the alias. There we go. My virtual list. See, u link goes to that. Now, I could get really weird with this and complicated, and you can map everything out. Watch, watch this. Watch this. This is an email box, right? Well, it can also have an alias. So it'll go to the email box. Email will go to the email box. But when it goes, it'll also forward to another address. So I'll set up an alias. Let's, I'll show you what that's like. And control paste. We can control V paste. Okay. All right. Save the changes. Now look at this. So now 
any email that goes anywhere to any address at u.verb.inc is going to go to both of these. So it's going to go to sue, su, super user. Well, wait a minute, it's going to go to Gmail twice. See what I got there? Oh, well, I guess I want to remove. Oh, I'll go edit this. Go back here. Let me pull Gmail out of that. Okay, all right. Now it's, oh, so it's only going to. So now any email, any address, including this, yep, they don't have an email box. That's just a, that's just an, that's just a it's an alias. From anything sent to that address is going to go to this address, even if it's not real. It's just going to go there. Well, this is going to get everything except this. This will get everything that's not listed down here. So that's all going to go here, into, which is then going to go on to here. Okay, and then it's going to forward on to my Gmail. So it's going to stay in here and go to my Gmail. Now, if I've got my Gmail checking this, I'm going to get double emails in my Gmail. You know, okay. So you get the idea of how this works.